Hello, Leo. Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you all could join me for another week of your general reading. So I pray that you all are doing well, staying safe, and just showing up and showing out for yourselves. So as you know, this is a channel where I give it to you straight, no chaser, but with compassion. But if there are some things in this message that do not resonate with you, then leave those messages at the door. Leave them on the floor for somebody else. They will come along and pick them up. I promise you, I guarantee you. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and... Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below in the description box. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So, uh, uh, Leo. So before I did the um, video for Aries, a song popped in my head. And I said, okay, you know what? How about we just go with that same energy? So, um as I was thinking about you guys' video, contemplating it and shuffling the cards, I just asked Spirit, I said, please give me a song. Before I even had it, I didn't even say the words out of my mouth, actually. I thought it. I was like, Spirit, give me a song. Before I was even done with the senses in my head, I had a song. So, um, Four Leaf Clover. Four Leaf Clover by the band Atlantic Star. So, it's an R&B uh, band. From um, you know the 1970s, 1980s, <clears throat> and early 90s, and you know they had a lot of hits. Um, Secret Lovers was one. So if you're not familiar with Four Leaf Clover, then Secret Lovers, Always, um, you know you might have heard those at a wedding or something. Well, <coughs> wait a minute, <laughs> y'all didn't hear Secret Lover at a wedding. I hope not. Um, maybe Always though. Chill. Anyway, um. Four Leaf Clover, that's what I got. So, however that message resonates with you, um, Leo, it might be some things in there. So, go check out the song, check out the lyrics, and, um, you know, just see see what information comes there. But, you know, hey, maybe you might be getting lucky here. So, maybe there's somebody about to um, have a lucky day or something. But let's see what's going on with your energy. <laughs> Hold on, I'll show you in a moment So we have the Six of Pentacles Nostalgia Like longing, it's the past It's remembering the past, it's having good memories Then we have the King of Pentacles Comes out in the reverse And then, like I said, lucky And I was thinking of like gambling And casino and shit So here we go with the dice card Now y'all saw me as I was talking As I was just talking and saying that song And laying the cards out Y'all saw. There you go. So gamble right there. So uh, playing the dice, you know, rolling the dice. Communication. Somebody wants to com communicate about um, something from the past. I feel as if they, oh, that's what it is. They want, somebody wants, somebody is taking a chance or they feel that they might be taking a chance by communicating with some past energy. Now, past energy, um, you know, it could be a past relationship or it could be business. It could be a family member that someone's not spoken to in a great amount of time. But what they want to speak about, what they want to communicate is, I feel, or maybe at least uh, let someone else know, <sighs> somebody failed this communication. I mean, somebody failed this connection in the past. Somebody Somebody overplayed their hand or something. Somebody overplayed their hand with this communication and it just, it, it wasn't stable. It wasn't grounded. Um, I'm feeling as if, and with this King of Pentacles, and the interesting thing about him is he's shown up in um, a few of these readings, but he's always shown up in this reverse right here. So, very ungrounded, very unstable. Um, there could have been some financial issues or something that was going on. So, maybe if it was work or something that was going on that may have affected this uh, partnership or affected this uh, connection or this union of some sort it could have had something to do with that but it also could have had something to do with maybe someone who had responsibilities for their own household so maybe someone was not aware of this but um 
now I think they want to make you aware or they want to make someone aware because like I said this is past life energy you know it's just it could be could be someone you know from childhood so as I said it's someone or something that has just not been seen or heard from in a long time now when I say past life energy I do mean this current life but also a life that you could have had 100, 400 years ago if you believe in uh, reincarnation, which I heavily do. I mean, hell, I'm sitting here uh, reading energy, channeling songs, reading cards. Why the hell would I not believe in reincarnation? Um, anyway, <clears throat> some luck of the draw. Mm, I don't know that word, just oh, that phrase is popped in my head. So it's like luck of the draw, you know, right there, whoever that's for but, um, yeah, definitely communicating something. This could have been a person who probably felt that they knew it all, as you know, too. So they might have been a bit too smart for their own good, you know uh, what I mean? And not saying that they weren't smart, not saying that they aren't intelligent. Um, but, yeah, now, sometimes that old know-it-all energy, that stubborn energy could come in because this King of Pentacles... Um, this is earth energy. If you look closely, he's sitting on uh, bulls right there. Those are bulls. So, you know, uh, for our, uh, earth signs, Taurus, uh, Tar Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn right there. So, you know, earth energy is just stable, grounded. Um, you know, it has solid footing. It's something solid. So, somebody wasn't being very solid. They're being very irresponsible. Um... And I feel as if they were irresponsible with this connection. So they did not handle this connection in the best way. And again, whether this is work, family, friends, um, lovers, it does not matter. Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Okay. Here we go, Ace of Wands. Y'all know what I always say about the Ace of Wands. It's very phallic. <laughs> it's it's a big stick. All right. And now here we go with the king of wands. Jesus. That is fire, 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 passion. Whoever this person is, um, they definitely have fire. They have passion. With this connection from the past, or they still feel this way. But... As I said, if um, if thing if things have been stagnant with the situation, if they've not moved forward, or you know, as I said, someone's remembering the past, or maybe there has not been any communication right there, but somebody is just remembering. But they are watching observation, honey. Somebody's watching somebody, and they are feeling their energy. They are trying to uh, uh, pick up on their energy. Here we go with change. Mm. So very uh very it's 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 a lot of enthusiasm. Like I'm feeling enthusiasm. It's almost as if like this person I'm picking up, like I said, that energy is excitement. Maybe they don't necessarily know exactly what they're going to do or how they want to reconnect, but I think just even the um possibilities of it, even just the possibilities of it. It's very exciting for them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so they they become very aroused, as I said, this past connection, whatever it was. Um, it doesn't have to be sexual. You know, we are stimul we are humans. We are stimulated in many various ways. It could be emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, you know. Um, there are many various ways. What I'm saying is, this person, this person is turned on in a lot of ways. They're turned on physically, first and foremost. We have the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Ooh, chill. Okay. <laughs> but, um, you know, somebody, like I said, they're standing up for themselves. They're actually taking some kind of action and they're showing some kind of, they're exuding some kind of strength or confidence. Also, them holding back, they're, 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 they're showing strength. 
by holding back because as I said, they're just observing someone or they're observing a situation now. Yeah, they want to come in to change things. They want to come in to um you know, do some things differently, but they're having strength they're having to use their strength to hold back. It's taking a lot for this person to hold back from this reconnection. This is strong energy. For this to be like the first card out of here, you know, the first card, usually always the strongest. And this is a cup. So this is emotion. And this is past life commotion. This is nostalgia. As I said, it's connection. It's, uh, like I said, past childhood, past life, uh, meaningful. This is something meaningful to someone. Here we go. Nine of Pentacles. And then three of pentacles in the reverse. Uh -huh. uh oh, wait a minute. And then nature. And then omen. <clears throat> so, you know what? With this nine of pentacles, some right here, somebody is sitting pretty. They are solo dolo. They are single. You know, it could be somebody who's single um, or appears to be single, but they have. Um, Excuse me. They have worked hard on themselves. They have worked hard. They have uh, studied. They have worked. They have, you know, worked on their emotional, mental, uh, physical, spiritual stability in so many ways. So now they are just enjoying everything that they worked hard to do, worked hard to get, you know, um, to this place of life where they are now. And... You know, with this three of pentacles, this could be saying that, okay, you know what? I'm fine over here by myself. I don't want to work on anything with anybody. I don't want to collaborate with anybody. I don't want to uh, collaborate for this work project or for this relationship or for um, whatever it is. This person is uh, pretty much saying that, you know, they might need to be alone for a minute. Now might not be the time to really connect. Um. <clears throat> That energy that I read, like I said, that could be from that could be from the other party. Like I said, if somebody wants to reconnect, then this person that they want to reconnect with, or whoever this individual with, they might they might be the one saying, you know what, I'm I don't want to work on a partnership. I don't want to collaborate right now. Now might not be the best time, um, you know, for it. And with this nature and this omen card, yeah, because I'm looking at the birds on this card, on this omen card, and you know, birds, you know, represent spirit. They represent, um, you know, the birds back there. You probably can't see them, but whatever, they're back there. They represent spirit. They represent um, communication, messages, and things. So, yeah, this message could be that someone does not want to work on building something or rebuilding something um at least not for the time being you know i feel as if this person whoever this single person is um or who's kind of off doing their own thing right now they they kind of just need to reconnect in other ways and i feel probably need to reconnect with themselves um first and foremost But when I say reconnect, you know, as I said, yeah, this person who's appreciating, this is a great, okay, this is gratitude. I always pick up gratitude with this card. So as I said, someone who's worked hard to get here and we're appreciating the hard work that we've done, but, you know, they're needing to get more in touch. They're wanting to work more on themselves. They're wanting to work more on their craft and probably just enjoy being single, you know, for the time being. Um... Yeah, so that's for that one energy. Now, if this is the person who is wanting to do the reconnecting, they're single right now. Um, they might not be uh, dealing with a lot of people. You know, it could be family, it could be friends. They might not have a lot of people in their circle right now, and they might be retreating out into nature. They are actually going out to reconnect and maybe going to the park, going out... Uh, just for some fresh air, just going to hmm, spirit communication. All right, 
because as, as I was talking, I looked at this communication card again. And then thinking about this omen card, the birds, like I said, spirit, going out to nature to reconnect. Hmm. Somebody going out into nature, reconnecting, you know, with spirit, um, you know, could be dealing with an earth sign here. Uh, doesn't have to be, but somebody is uh, reconnecting with nature. So possibly going on hikes, going on, um, you know, retreats and things of that nature, just in order to receive some type of clarity, you know, on something. So maybe this is someone who is going out uh, into nature or going out, you know, to wherever, just to kind of clear their mind to, um, to assess the situation. So, you know, before they make a decision on if they want to invest, if they want to, you know, work with someone or a group of people or whoever it is, they, um, they're needing to kind of become clear on some things first. <clears throat> Here we go. The hangman. So it could be Pisces energy. Um, then we have the devil card. Could be, again, could be Earth sign. This is Scorpio, I mean, Scorpio, uh, Capricorn. This is Capricorn energy right here, the devil card. First time this card actually has come out since I've, I've been doing this series of readers. <clears throat> but you know what? It comes out in the reverse. So I love it. But uh, healing and wisdom. Yeah. <clears throat> um. You know what? In going back to this other spread, as I said, put these energies where they apply. So whether this is the person from the past and, you know, this person who wants to reconnect. Um, things don't kind of go the way they want or are hoping they want to. But as I said, it's because this person somebody is evaluating something first before they make some kind of decision but um this devil energy though you know because i just pick up like codependent relationships so maybe someone as i said they were in some other type of connection or some other relationship where it was a bit codependent. So them learning what they needed to learn from whatever that situation was, now this has enabled them to, uh, like I said, make that kind of return to the past or maybe wanting them to reconnect with something because they've kind of learned how things, they've learned how, um, They've learned how to put people's feelings, you know, first. I just got that. So whoever that is for. Um, learn how to put people's feelings first, but also releasing themselves from some kind of codependent relationship that they may have been in. So maybe this is why they are now single. And because they have released themselves from this, because they did receive the wisdom, they received some kind of clarification about whatever um, toxic relationship that they had been in or people or just situations and things that they had around them. So after clearing this energy out, after clearing it out, now, you know, they could be this single person. And like I said, they want to make this reconnection from the past, but right now they are just waiting for the right time. They're waiting for that right signal. They're waiting for the right, right moment or possibly, um, you know, spirit has been uh, sending them the signal or sending them the sign of, you know, what they need to do. But they're in this mode of healing because whatever this, as I said, this codependency, this toxic situation, they definitely, definitely needed to heal from that. And, you know, they could just be staying uh, a bit stuck right now. They just, uh, oh, well, not stuck, but I was going to say observing. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, man. Um, just sitting back and just observing, not making any moves in either direction, just watching. As I said, we're observing right now. But during this period of observation, this person is going through their own uh, clarity of healing. All right, here we go. Star card, it comes out in the reverse. So that's Aquarius energy. Um, then we have the Four of Wands. Celebration, um, you know, foundations, achievements, you know, just uh, 
celebrations right there. Then we have alchemy. So spells, you know, uh, conjuring up things, you know, uh, mixing things together. And then we have thunder and lightning. So power. Yeah, somebody. Um, how do I want to say this? They want to make make something right, of course. Hmm. But that's what. Okay, so this past energy, whoever or whatever this is, that they can't stop thinking about that they are constantly observing that they think they might be taking a chance um on i feel as if you know they want to rectify this because you know right now they're feeling a bit hopeless they want to restore this situation they want to have luck <laughs> you know with the situation you know they want that four leaf clover they're feeling unlucky right now um you know, like I said, they feel that, you know, maybe they missed out on this destined opportunity um, with something, but they definitely want to make this right uh, with this four of wands. This is making, this is turning circumstances around. This is, um, oh, okay. And you know what? That's why I was saying how they might, somebody feels as if they might be taking a chance or rolling the dice by communicating with somebody. Because they feel that somebody doesn't want to have anything to do with them. <laughs> they feel that somebody does not want to have anything to do with them. So that's why they're asking for that four leaf clover. Okay, there it is. They want to reconnect. Here we go with this energy from the past that this star card, they're not feeling that inspired. Um, are they feeling as if things won't go their way? Because they definitely have some inspiration right there. Okay, now <laughs> I told y'all, but um, they're just very unsure of how things will be received. They want to um, reconcile. They want celebration. They want to uh, be happy. You know, they want to happy together. That song started playing in my head. Right there <laughs> Who sings that song? I forgot It's a song from the 60s But happy together So happy together That's how it goes But anyway um, Yeah, they want to be happy with this past energy But they feel as if they're going to be shut down That's what's going on with that So they've been trying to um, You know, spells, alchemy Trying to conjure or create some way Of turning this situation around you know, looking for strength, looking for power. Interesting. But something could be coming very quickly, you know, with this thunder and lightning. Lightning, um, you know, it happens so fast, <laughs> you know, so quickly. So there could be some kind of a lightning moment or a lightning bulb moment. So maybe um, a lightning bulb, a light bulb moment. So if someone has this moment of uh, clarity of how they can turn the situation around, because as I said, they're observing right now, wondering how to change something, but they definitely want something. So interesting, Leah. Um, you know, this four wands talks about uh, marriage as well. So marriage, um, celebration, some kind of celebratory event or something right there. Yeah, they want to turn this around. All right, Leo, I will talk to y'all later. God bless you. Stay safe. Take care. And if you like this video, please hit that uh, thumbs up button. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is down below. Bye-bye.